dear. Oh, I don't know what to say, really. Yes, we are back again once more on YouTube live after a very chaotic week. All I can say is this week has been so chaotic. I can't begin to tell you how chaotic <laughs> this week has been. Here we go again. Yes, it is English Addict and we are live once again. And the good news is we have captions today. We have live captions. They are back. Yes, I've done it. I've made them reappear as if by magic. Here we are then, English Addict, coming to you live from the birthplace of English, which just happens to be England. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh. Ooh, what a week. What a what a crazy week this has been. I can't begin to tell you how crazy this week has been. We've been all over the place. Uh, hi everybody. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope you're feeling happy. Have you had a good week? I hope your week has been relaxing and easy. Here it has been chaotic. In fact, if you look behind me, you can see outside the window there is supposed to be a lovely view of my garden. But unfortunately, there is lots of scaffolding outside. And that is what is blocking the view at the moment. Would you like to have a look at some of the disruption? So here is another view for those who are interested, of course. So there it is. You can see outside the house there is lots of something we call scaffolding. Scaffolding. It's a great word, by the way. Scaffolding. Something that is used as a means of support for... People, workmen, builders, so they can work high up safely. Scaffolding. You will often see it on the sides of new buildings and also maybe old buildings that are being renewed or renovated. Like this house, the old house that I live in is starting to fall apart. So we have been having some renovation work on the house being done this week and there is another view out of the window yes there is no lovely view at the moment we have lots of things going on outside the house we are hoping today that they will be finishing however at the moment they are still outside doing the work so you might hear the occasional bang the occasional crash and the reason is because we have some workmen working on the house. They are trying to repair all of the holes and all of the rotten parts, all of the parts of the house that are falling to pieces. That is what is happening at the moment right here. What about you? How, how has your week been? Has it been a good week? I hope you've had a nice week here chaotic did you see my live stream by the way on wednesday i was out and about live not here in the house but i did try i tried my best to get away from all of the noise and chaos that was taking place <laughs> i can hear some banging above my head i hope no one comes crashing through my roof I really hope not here we go then yes we have made it all the way to the end of another week and it is also almost nearly the end of August September is just around the corner yes it's Friday <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know where to start really <laughs> what a week what a week it has been yes we have made it all the way to Friday nice to see you here it's very good to be back in the studio fortunately the workmen have managed not to damage my studio at all so that's quite nice coming up to 10 minutes past two o'clock on Friday the 28th of August September is just around the corner as I mentioned and if you were watching on Wednesday you will know that there are some changes taking place during September my live streams will be taking a rest a little rest a break during September however it isn't bad news don't worry don't worry I know what you're thinking oh Mr Duncan why during September there will be some recorded lessons some new lessons being posted we are starting off on the 1st of September with something special I think this is lovely in fact if you remember on my YouTube channel there was a video lesson all about the season of autumn which just happens to coincide with the season that we are about to enter so autumn is just around the corner in fact autumn is approaching so what I've decided to do after having to take my autumn lesson off my YouTube channel because some people said Mr Duncan you are stealing our music when in fact I wasn't this does happen quite often unfortunately when you are on you are on YouTube you will find that from time to time people will try to claim copyright on things that they don't have the right to claim it on you see so I've been in a big battle with a group of people who were trying to take my video off me so instead I decided to delete my autumn lesson however I have been busy in the studio this week re-editing and also remastering my autumn lesson and guess what it will be available on the 1st of September so my autumn lesson the lesson that I had to delete because of false copyright claims <laughs> will be available from the 1st of September I've been busy re-editing remastering and also presenting the video in a, in a new aspect as well so uh, I feel quite pleased with this work that I've done I've spent many hours this week whilst the builders were banging around on the house I've been re-editing my autumn lesson and it will be available from the 1st of September which is next Tuesday so that is happening on the 1st of September and then during September there will be some new lessons being posted so that is the deal during the following month however don't worry October everything back to normal there will be live lessons in October however I am taking a break from my live streaming but I will be back with my live streams in October and of course during September you will have lots of lovely new recorded lessons and that is what I'm busy with at the moment doing all sorts of things there it is Friday and we are now live across YouTube I hope you are having a good day I'm I'm really hoping that more and more people will join us today we don't seem to have many people watching I don't know why I have no idea why but there you go <laughs> from September the 1st recorded lessons and then from October the 1st we will be live again with our usual live streams 
hello to the live chat i suppose i should say hello as well to the live chat hello to you oh thank you very much for joining me for those who have decided to join me today isn't it lovely very nice to see you here Mosen, congratulations Mosen. guess what you are first on today's live chat mm, very good congratulations Mosen. you have a very fast finger i think so your finger is very fast hello also donna beatrice Tuan Nguyen is here watching in Vietnam. Alessandra. We have Luis Mendez. Hello, Luis. Thank you very much for joining me today. We also have Maliha, Dana, Grace, Hiroko, and also Belarusia. Hello, Belarusia nice to see you here as well today i hope you are okay you will notice that there are some moderators on today's live chat as well keeping an eye on the chat making sure that everyone <laughs> remains on their best behavior i think so hello also we have zuzika barong also oh hello also lolly lolly a big hello to you as well i don't know about you but i hate change have you noticed something on the internet has changed its appearance do you know what i'm talking about if you don't know i will tell you over the past couple of days facebook has decided to change its appearance so they have altered the appearance of Facebook now I don't know about you but I don't like it when these things change they sometimes annoy me and this particular one has annoyed me a little bit everything looks different the the, the size of the font the shape of the screen everything is now different so just as I have become used to it, just as I <laughs> have become used to using Facebook, they change it. You see, they keep changing the shape and also the layout. So now for those who have it, because some people apparently don't have it, but for some reason, I don't know why I have the new layout of Facebook and from the beginning of september everyone's facebook will look like this to be honest with you i don't like it very much but i'm sure i will get used to it i'm sure i will get used to it over time so what about you have you seen the new facebook layout have you seen it do you like it or is it annoying we also have oh hello to Irene and also Rose Silver. Nice to see you here as well. Hello also Suri. Hello Suri. Nice to see you here as well. Palmira as well on the live chat. Yes, good news everyone. I have managed to retrieve my live captions so if you want to have live captions you can press c on your keyboard don't enter it don't enter it on the live chat all you have to do is take your finger and press c on your keyboard and you will have live captions wherever you go yes it's great to see the live captions back it took me a long time hello also lan Fuong. also we have helen here today partap hello partap is it your birthday again <laughs> i think you've had at least five birthdays this year how many more will you be having i wonder 
apparently it's raining in moscow guess what it's raining here as well the weather has been terrible today <laughs> we've had so much rain i can't begin to tell you so the, here is the view outside at the moment there it is looking outside and also here is another view looking out of the window oh <laughs> you can see my easter island heads there they are <laughs> now because of the building work i've had to move my easter island heads from the front of the house so there now you can see them in their new position in the garden and that is the view right now looking out into the garden the rain has stopped thank goodness so fortunately the rain has recently stopped but it has been raining all morning anyway enough of that i'm sure you don't want to hear me talking non-stop about the weather let's have a look at something else hmm. well today we have the sentence game the sentence game is back by popular demand so quite often during the week on Wednesday and sometimes Friday we have the sentence game it is a simple game all you have to do is tell me what the missing words are so the sentence game is coming later on and today we are looking at computer terms so when we say computer terms what we are actually saying are words connected to using a computer maybe parts of a computer maybe things that are connected with using a computer so today's sentence game coming up later on we will be using computer terms as the missing words Ooh, that should be very interesting something else i wanted to mention as you know mr steve quite often joins me on the live stream and there is one particular animal that mr steve hates and i thought it would be interesting to take a look at one of our past live streams so this is mr steve and also myself last september so september 2019 talking all about a particular animal i wonder if you can guess what that animal is so what was the animal i will give you a clue i will do an impression of the animal so he's very good at this Be careful, Mr. Duncan, because you know what I wanted to do to those creatures yes. yesterday. Anyway, to cut a long story short, or can we? Or do you want me to wait until somebody guesses correctly? I don't think anyone's going to guess. They're grey. Here we go. And they eat anything. It's one of these. It's one of those. It's a pigeon. So what? What had the pigeons done? Do you, do you want to? Do you want to attack that? Oh, there's two there. There's another picture behind it. I'm going to destroy that just so, an image of it so yesterday Steve got really angry because the pigeons had decided to do big poos so they had pooped they defecated they had pooped or all, defecated all right <laughs> they had pooped all over the lovely smooth paint that I've put uh, on Mr Duncan's cracks <laughs> uh above his roof <laughs> on his roof and i had to spend ages trying to clear it off and there was so much of it it ruined ruined all the hard work that i'd done last week because you can't paint on top of pigeon poo here comes a pigeon set like concrete here comes a pigeon I think I'm I, going to get an air rifle, Mr. Duncan. We're going to reduce the surplus population of pigeons I don't think, in this area. I really don't think that's a good idea. Well, we could sit on these high roofs that we have and just shoot anything in sight. These I mean, pigeons, not humans, obviously. <laughs> we don't want the police coming up here, do we? Well, we might mistake. Someone could be in a pigeon outfit walking so, around. Sorry, we're the 
you do realize firing firing any weapon into the sky is probably illegal in this country anyway where do you think you are texas i think it's all right with an air rifle <laughs> they've only got a limited range i can test it out on you yeah. so apparently i'm not i'm not going to say too much but apparently pedro hasn't been here for the past couple of weeks and apparently the reason was he he got in trouble with the police Ooh, yeah that's that's Ooh. all i'm saying we're not going to mention it again but that that's the reason why because we were both very concerned we were we were wondering where pedro was was it a crime of passion jamelia says i hate it when the pigeons do yes. do poos they're disgusting we're gonna my... get spikes aren't we to put all over the railing so that they can't sit uh above your flat roof pooing onto my hard work so jamelia jamelia does not like it when the birds do their big poos so there are things you can do though to keep the the pigeons away you can get some special things that that look like spikes and they stick up and then it stops the pigeons from from landing easier on just to eliminate them if you know what i mean here comes another pigeon got it <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what steve wants to do we'll he turn want... it into a pigeon pie and eat it later that is not a good thing to do by the way <laughs> Mr. Steve. <laughs> By the way, can I just say that Mr. Steve never did get his air rifle or air gun and he hasn't shot any pigeons for those who are wondering. Pedro, yes, Pedro remembers. Oh, by the way, Pedro yeah. Belmont is here. Hello, Pedro. Nice to see you here. Sorry about reminding you of your your moment of time, but you are forgiven. Definitely. <laughs> Hello, Belarusia again. Ha ha ha. You are like a child, Mr. Duncan. You remember my grandfather. He was like a child, too. I think I am a little bit immature. If there is one thing that people often say about me, they say I am immature. But I think also Mr. Steve can be a little bit immature as well. It's nice to have fun. If you are not doing any harm to other people, have a little bit of fun, have a laugh, have a smile. Let's face it. Let's face it. It's 2020. And to be honest with you, we haven't had much to smile about this year, if I was honest. So today we are talking about computers. We are going to have a look at an excerpt from one of my full English lessons in a few moments. Also, don't forget, next month, September, it is approaching, I know. During September, no live streams, but there will be some new recorded lessons and a lovely new shiny version of my autumn lesson because next week of course next week it is autumn meteorological autumn arrives here in england next week so that is what will be happening anna says i love it when you imitate the sounds of animals i try my best i do like to copy the sounds of certain animals like birds for example especially baby birds <laughs> baby birds waiting in the nest for their mother and father to come and give them a nice big juicy worm i hope so oh hello to the live chat we have a lot of people now joining in i was worried for a moment maybe some of you have thought to yourselves that i've stopped doing my live streams no i haven't stopped and they are not stopping forever it is just during september only september and then october everything will be back to normal 
whatever normal is of course uh, hello Helen Farman hello Helen Farman I hope one day that I can speak English very well you have come to the right place listening to English reading English learning new words having fun whilst learning all of these things are very important Nessar hello Nessar Alam a warm welcome Mr Duncan I hope you are happy I am happy but what I will say is this week has been chaotic we've had a lot of chaos a lot of noise it is actually happening right now at the moment they are working on the house right now and Mr Steve the worst thing of all is is that Mr Steve has had to move his office so Mr Steve's office is is right there <laughs> in the dining room you might be able to hear Mr Steve talking in the background so he is he is that's what Steve is doing right now he is working but because of the all of the the building work taking place on the house Steve has moved his office into the dining room which is just over there <laughs> so you might be able to hear his voice hello to everyone can you speak or can you understand the birds language well maybe not their language but sometimes from their actions you can understand what the birds are trying to say sometimes from their actions very nice so we are talking about computers today we're talking about computer words we have the sentence game coming up later on as well involving words connected to computers which reminds me of one of my full English le lessons when I talked all about technology do you remember the time when I talked about things connected to technology well for those who haven't seen it here it is right now Here's a word that might be familiar to you. The word technology generally relates to any complicated tool that has been created to carry out a task of some sort. This task can be a simple one, such as adding up numbers, right up to the really complex and difficult ones, such as steering a jumbo jet or sending someone to the moon. There are some other words that relate to technology such as device which is something that uses technology to function such as a smartphone or tablet they are types of devices the device forms the hardware of the technology while the programs and applications running inside are the software they are both forms of technology it is hard to imagine what life was like before modern technology came along. Technology is used almost everywhere now. In factories and offices, in our leisure pursuits, in our cars and homes, and perhaps in the not too distant future as a part of the human body. It would be fair to say that virtually all of the great technological leaps forward have occurred during the past hundred years. Since the discovery of electricity, our world has been magically transformed into an amazing wonderland where our thirst for information can be easily quenched and the human imagination is encouraged to run free. Do you like technology? Would you miss it if it wasn't around? What piece of technology do you use the most? A computer game? A mobile device? a super duper talking watch which piece of technology are you looking forward to using in the future a flying bicycle 
a driverless car an artificial brain a holographic TV perhaps will they ever be reality only time will tell that was one of my full English lessons and it's talking about the subject that we will be talking about today and we will be looking at some words connected to computers but the words will be missing yes we have the sentence game coming up later on today <laughs> don't worry Pedro we all love you here we do <laughs> hello to the live chat nice to see you here it's English addict we only have one more English addict before we take a break from the live streams and then during September we have some recorded lessons new lessons Ooh, Mr. Duncan, how exciting. And then when October arrives, we will be having more live streams. So don't worry, don't panic. I'm not ending my live streams. I am taking a break from them during September. Recorded live streams, sorry, recorded lessons and then live streams back in October. <gasps> what a week, what a week it has been hello also to Nessar hello Mosen again very busy today on the live chat thank you very much for joining me very nice to see you just to get you in the mood for our conversation today and also the sentence game here is a list of words connected to a certain part of a computer oh mr duncan i see what you're doing here yes i want to test i want to test your knowledge of computers so here we go these are all words connected to one particular word that you will find in or on a computer we have the word floppy <laughs> floppy uh, we have hard oh <laughs> we also have internal and external so all of these words can be used with one particular word and they all relate to the computer something that you might find near a computer in a computer or maybe connected somehow to a computer we have the word floppy hard internal external but what is the missing word does anyone know what the missing word is and I know that someone is going to say mr. Duncan your first word is out of date I don't know what you mean by that I don't know what you mean by that So what are the missing words or what is the missing word? In fact, you have two choices, floppy, hard, internal and external. But what are they? Oh, Mr. Duncan, we are wondering what the missing word is. So any idea if anyone knows, put it now on the live chat. Type it as quickly as you can. Oh, we have some answers coming through already oh very nice thank you Lewis Herman Mika yes we have a few answers coming through now very nice Belarusia says can you please give Mr Duncan a thumbs up oh can you please give Mr Duncan a thumbs up thank you Belarusia for reminding me and also reminding my viewers at the same time if you like this give me a thumbs up thank you very much floppy 
hard internal external there is one word in fact there are two words that we, we can use here oh very interesting lolly lolly yes I like that one that is also a very good suggestion yes I think so floppy hard internal Ooh, external <laughs> there is a word that we can add to all of those but what is the word mm. there might even be two words that we can add two oh I see yes very nice thank you Tuan Yuin Tuan Yuin son also pretty hello pretty so there is one word that we can use with all of these words and they do refer to parts of a computer things you might find inside outside nearby or connected partap says disco you are you are not far you are very close there very close <laughs> thank you Lil thank you also Sandra for your guess as well okay I will give you the answer would you like the answer right now okay here it comes then here is the answer Mr Cockerell wake up <laughs> the word that you could use with any of these words is disc disc quite a few people got it right disc you can have a floppy disc even though these days not many people use them but as I understand it I think they can actually still be used some people still use floppy disks floppy disk hard disk internal disk external disk you can also have drive as well you can have floppy drive hard drive internal drive external drive so quite often this is a type of media or maybe a device that you connect to your computer to add extra memory you can have a floppy disk you could have a hard disk you could have an, an internal disk or external disk and of course the thing or the machinery or the hardware is often described as a drive floppy drive hard drive you can have an internal drive or external drive so there you go yes I hope <laughs> I hope that was helpful maybe you've learned something new there floppy something floppy is something that has no stability or maybe something that is not solid it bends easily something that you can easily bend something that is not solid can be described as floppy floppy and of course the opposite is hard something hard is solid something internal is inside something it is inside something something that is external is on the outside external internal inside yes you can have a floppy disk or a floppy drive or of course you could have a disk drive so you could say floppy disk drive hard disk drive internal disk drive external disk drive have you heard of Kurdistan have I heard of Kurdistan I have heard of it I have heard of it sometimes it is mentioned on the news I also have it on my big globe as well thank you Andy thank you Shri Shrinidhi Shrinidhi Singh 
hello to you as well I don't recognize your name is it your first time here if so can I give you a big thumbs up and say welcome if it is your first time here welcome to my live stream yes we are live at the moment definitely live as live can be it's raining outside the rain has been pouring all day which seems like a good opportunity to do this I hope you enjoyed that the puddle dance because today it's raining is it raining where you are that is the big question Ooh. is it raining where you are I hope it isn't as you know I teach English I talk about the English language and sometimes I also talk about grammar as well there are some grammar lessons that are available on my YouTube channel did you know that well it's true and here just to prove it is one of those grammar lessons lesson three part one the present tense overview the present simple and the present continuous the present simple is used to talk about permanent situations, regular occurrences, things that are always true, repeated actions and ongoing states. For example, the sun rises in the east. Giorgio plays golf every weekend. Robert lives in London. The present continuous is used to refer to temporary situations, repeated actions around the present moment and ongoing actions in the present moment. It is raining in San Francisco right now. Raining. This is a temporary situation. Julia is playing lots of golf these days. Is playing. This is a repeated action happening around the present moment. At the moment, Robert is watching TV. Is watching. This is an ongoing action in the present moment. Present tense questions. The present simple. The present simple questions with be are formed differently from other verbs. Are you English? R is the form of be. It comes before the subject. Do you speak English? Do or does is added before the subject. In the present continuous, the questions are always formed in the same way. Is it raining? The form of be comes before the subject. Present tense negatives. Present simple negatives with be are formed differently from other verbs. I am not French. Not is added after the form of be. I do not speak French. Do not or does not is added between the subject and the main verb. Present continuous negatives are always formed in the same way. It is not raining. Not is added after the form of be. Lesson 3, part 2. Imperatives. Imperatives are used to give commands or make requests. 
They can also be used to give warnings or directions. Imperatives are formed using the base form of the verb. The infinitive without to. For example, to stop. Stop. An exclamation mark is used if the imperative is urgent. Further examples. Get up. Be careful. Give that to me. Eat your breakfast. Help. Read this book. Negative imperatives. Do not or don't can be added before the verb to make an imperative negative. Do not or don't. Do not turn right. Don't turn right. Further examples. Don't eat that cake. Don't rush. I'm not in a hurry. I've just painted that door. Don't touch it. Don't sit there. That chair is broken. Subjects with imperatives. An imperative sentence does not usually have a subject, but sometimes a noun or a pronoun is used to make it clear who is being talked to. Everybody sit down. The subject, everybody. The action, sit. Everybody sit down. Further examples. Philip, come with me. You stay there. For emphasis, you can be used as an imperative clause. You stay there. You stress the word you. You stay there. Someone open the window. The subject can also be placed at the end. Have fun, Anne. Polite requests. Imperatives in English can be considered rude. Words can be added to make them more polite. Close the door. Please close the door. Please can be placed before the imperative verb to make a request more polite. Give me a minute. Just give me a minute, please. The word just can go before the imperative. The word please can also be placed at the end of the sentence. Come in. Do come in. Do can go before the imperative verb to make a request more formal. Making suggestions with let's. Let's can be used to make a suggestion for an activity that includes the speaker. It's sunny today. Let's go out. It's cold. Let's not go out. Not goes after let's to form the negative. And that is it. Our grammar lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed that. If you didn't, I'm ever so sorry. The thing is... The thing is, you can refer to these videos, you see, so you can look at the grammar lessons if you want to refresh part of your English or maybe something you don't fully understand. So it is possible to learn grammar. I know some people say grammar is boring. We don't like learning grammar, but sometimes it is nice to take a look at the way sentences are formed, the way in which English is spoken. Some of the rules are important. Some of them are not so important. I will be honest with you. Some grammar rules are not as important as others. I think it will be fair to say I think so. Oh, I see. Yes. Uh, Tuan Yuin says your grammar lessons are very similar to a book called English for Everyone. Yes, you are right, because it is based on that particular book. You are right. Yes. 
I did not know that there 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 were grammar lessons says Zuzika there are grammar lessons on my YouTube channel you can search for them and they are definitely there hello to Turkey Zeki Oziri is here hello Zeki nice to see you here watching in Turkey a place I have visited twice in the past I even made an English lesson there as well are you ready to play the sentence game yes we are going to play it in a few moments don't worry don't worry yes reviewing grammar can be very useful you are right Beatriz it is useful sometimes to review grammar you don't have to do it all the time I know some people say that learning grammar is a little tedious perhaps a little boring but it can also be useful as well you might say that grammar is the structure or the way in which words are placed in a sentence the way in which words are used when you want to express a certain thing maybe something that is happening now maybe something that has happened in the past or perhaps something that will happen in the future or maybe something that is happening right now like this talking of things happening now yes we are about to play the sentence game don't worry everyone we are going to play it in a few moments thank you partap it would appear that a lot of people are eager very eager to play the sentence game so without any more messing around or delaying or pontificating or lollygagging here is today's sentence game and yes it is all connected to computers some people like learning grammar so now we are moving from grammar to the sentence game a lot of people love to play the sentence game I know I know you love it I love it you love it we all love it in fact lolly lolly says I love learning grammar it is not boring well I suppose what is boring for one person might be interesting to another you see I think that's how it works here we go then the sentence game is now up and running I am going to show you some sentences some of these <laughs> will be easy some of them difficult so we are not looking for a certain letter we are looking for words connected to using one of these there it is computer words that is what we are doing today so let's have a look at the first one shall we you will see a sentence and there will be a missing word all you have to do is tell me what the word is and today they are all words connected to computers using a computer maybe something that is inside a computer maybe something you do when you are using a computer here it is right now today's first sentence game now is on your screen they tried to something the pole into the dry ground oh, okay then hmm. they tried to something the pole into the dry ground hmm I wonder what that could be so this is a word a word that has five letters as usual that is how we play the game we have a missing word or sometimes there are missing words sometimes there are more than one word missing they tried to something the pole into 
the dry ground but what did they try to do it's a word that is connected to computers you see that's how it works so that's what we're looking for today computer terms computer language does anyone know no we don't seem to have any correct answers at the moment oh my goodness now I thought this was easy I will be honest with you I thought I would start off with an easy one an easy one they tried to something the pole into the dry ground this is a word connected to computers oh. does anyone know <laughs> I can wait it's all right I I'm, I'm not in a hurry I'm not in a rush don't worry it's all right by the way it's coming up to three o'clock here in the UK does anyone know the answer to the sentence game interesting interesting <laughs> collod collod says hammer well sometimes a person might want to use a hammer on their computer especially when it's not working properly so yes you might be right there it's not the correct answer but yes hammer hammer you might <laughs> you might use a hammer to smash your computer when it isn't working properly I think so hmm interesting Alessandra says plant plant I can't think of any term or any use of the word plant that might be used in a computer or with a computer hmm I think this is hard uh, well in fact I thought this was easy but now I can see that there are no correct answers I've just realized that maybe it is hard so this is a, a word that is connected to computers using computers so even if you don't know the answer don't panic don't worry because you will learn the word anyway leaf hello leaf nice to see you here is it dig dig hmm. I'm not sure if you use the word dig when we are talking about computers dig interesting very interesting well I'm surprised that no one's got this I will be honest with you I thought this was easy you see now if Sergio was here Sergio I, I imagine Sergio would get it right but I haven't seen Sergio today but I think Sergio would have got it ah okay then we might we might have a correct answer oh <laughs> I'm excited now you see I'm getting excited now we might actually have a correct answer coming up Pedro is going oh okay Pedro I'm going to leave now Mr Duncan see you in another opportunity at another time I will be back with you on Sunday it is our final last live stream on Sunday hello Ricardo hmm interesting I can't think of the word says Beatrice okay well don't worry because I am going to give you the answer in a moment you might be surprised by the answer enter ah I like that one enter that's a very good suggestion because you can enter something you enter something on a computer mm, I like that it isn't correct unfortunately the answer is coming up right now <laughs> Mr Cockerell that went right in my ear goodness me right into my ear the answer coming up right now they tried to something the pole into the dry ground 
if you try to make something go into something else you might true true the word we're looking for is bing drive <gasps> oh mr duncan that is very naughty we did have some correct answers by the way congratulations to we had andy star well done andy zeki zeki was first with the correct answer drive you drive something in so if you force something in you drive it in you are moving against something you are pushing something in you are driving it in drive and of course on a computer you have your drive which is where the memory is stored and also the operating system so a drive is a mechanical form of saving data it is a thing that can save data it can store install your operating system on that drive so i hope that answers your question mm. the, the answer is drive drive the thing that you run your programs on or maybe the thing that you operate your computer with here comes another one i hope this is a little easier this time here is today's second sentence game and they are all connected to computer terms things connected to computers here it comes right now oh oh we have two missing letters sorry two missing words five letters and seven letters i thought we would something but we just couldn't something oh <laughs> so this might be related to relationships if you are trying to form a new relationship with someone so that is a clue i've given you a very big clue there i thought we would something but we just couldn't something hmm they are both words connected to computers or maybe using a computer ah you see so there is a clue we have five letters and seven letters i thought we would something but we just couldn't something they are both words connected to computers but also we can use them if you are trying to create a relationship maybe you meet someone maybe you, you go on a date with a person and then you get to know them over time unfortunately nothing happens the relationship slowly fades away into nothing which is a shame i thought we would something but we just couldn't something hmm <laughs> i love the sentence game it says maliha thank you very much that's very kind of you to say even if you don't know anything about computers it doesn't matter don't worry don't panic it does not matter because you you will still learn something new you see so that's the whole idea of the sentence game even if you don't know the answers you will be given the answers and then hopefully you will learn some new words at the same time that is why we play the sentence game hmm online online hmm that is a term that we use with computers but unfortunately it is not the correct answer i thought we would something but we just couldn't something they are both 
interesting yes some very interesting answers coming up here very nice Connell says stream and catch the signal hmm. I see quite a few people have got the second word correct You might be able to hear the sound of the builders working above my head. That's why I love the sentence game, because I can learn a lot. Thank you, Belarusia. That's very kind of you to say. Well, the dry ground from the previous sentence game had nothing to do with computers, but the missing word can be used in computer terms, you see. So we are not talking about computers in the sentence, but we are using words that can be used for computer terms, you see. So I will explain it here. When I give you the answer to this, I will explain why we do this. I will explain it. So don't worry. Very nice. What do you think about the new layout of Facebook? Apparently, Facebook have decided to change their appearance and now it looks very different. I don't like it, to be honest. It's a little confusing. Mm. A few more seconds and then I will give you the answer. I thought we would something, but we just couldn't something. The answer coming in a moment. Are you ready for the answer? A lot of people getting the second word right. But what about the first word? Hmm. Think of using the Internet. Think of using the Internet. Maybe you are searching for something online. Maybe you are looking for something. Yes. So that is a clue for the first word. Are you ready for the answer? Here it is coming up right now. Mr. Cockerell, when you're ready, we are waiting. <coughs> Finally. I don't know what Mr. Cockerell has been doing, but he has a very big smile on his face. He does. Here we go, then. Here's the answer coming up right now. I thought we would something, but we just couldn't something. The answers are coming up right bing, now. Oh, Mr. Duncan. <sighs> click. I thought we would click. But we just couldn't connect. So if you are meeting someone for the first time, so Maybe a situation where you are dating someone and slowly you get to know them. If you click with someone, it is a term that we use in English that means you have things in common and then you find that you get along very well with each other. You see, you click. So two people who get along very well with each other, we can say that they click. They match each other perfectly. They are a good match for each other. So if two people click, it means they get along very well. They get along perfectly. They, they seem to have very similar characteristics. So in this particular sense, the word click is being used as an idiom to mean get along or you connect with each other. You connect with each other. You click. Of course, in computer terms, you can click your mouse, you see. So that is what we say when we're saying computer terms. So the word click can be used as a computer term, but we can also use the word click to mean connect and also get along with each other. 
so when you meet a person maybe you click straight away it means you get along very well you get on very well you connect with each other yes that is how you do it you click with another person you get along you make a very good connection with someone you become good friends over time you click I thought we would click but we just couldn't connect so when you connect with a person again you understand them you understand how they live how they behave their attitude you get along with them you become very good friends I like that one so I hope that helps you to have something in common you click you get along very well you become very good friends in a loving relationship hmm it is often a good idea to click with your partner you need to have a good understanding of each other you need to get along very well so now you know so that was today's I think it was the second sentence game <laughs> here's another one this is the third one now definitely I hope someone gets this right it would be lovely it would be ever so nice if someone got this right <gasps> oh okay then I think this one's easy this is an easy one I think everyone everyone is going to get this one I'm pretty sure of it we need to put the furniture into something we are looking for seven letters it is a word that has seven letters we need to put the furniture into something but what what are we doing hmm what are we doing we need to put the furniture into something interesting <laughs> again so now I think this is quite easy this is quite an easy one maybe from my point of view it's easy but if you are a person who uses a computer and maybe you need to put things into your computer so you need to put things in the computer you need that you need that thing you need somewhere to put Hemad says format format well that is a computer term yes when you want your hard drive or maybe your memory card to work sometimes you have to format the actual disk drive you have to format ah okay then yes I can see a lot of people are getting it right very nice very nice I thought this was hard but then I thought this was easy <laughs> and then I changed my mind again and thought it was hard but now I've decided that this one is easy I think so a few more seconds hello Catherine Higgins hello Catherine Higgins welcome this is English addict we talk about the English language and sometimes we play games right now we are playing the sentence game we need to put the furniture into what and this is using a computer term a word connected to computers mm, we have quite a few correct answers well done who was first who was first with the correct answer oh I see lolly lolly and also Beatrice were first with the correct answer 
the correct answer is coming now thank you mr cockerel very kind of you <laughs> quite a few people got this right well done to you all the answer is <laughs> i nearly gave the wrong answer then that would have been silly the answer is bing storage oh yes i think if you have a computer one of the biggest problems is having enough space inside the memory so quite often in your computer you will have your disk drive and then inside that there will be part of the disk will be for your files your memory the things that you want to store in your computer but i always think that sometimes there is never enough storage so if you need to move house maybe you are moving to a new house but your new house isn't ready yet you might have to put your furniture into a place where it can be kept safely storage and of course when we have storage in your computer we are saying available space in the memory for you to put your things into so storage can be in your computer it can also be a place where you keep things safe things that you want to be kept or want to have kept safely here is another one we have time for about three more and then i will be going don't forget i'm back on sunday mr steve will be here and it is the last live english addict we are taking a break from live streams during september however there will be recorded lessons during that month so don't worry and then when october comes everything will be back to normal so don't worry too much about that here is another one. <laughs> oh, here's a good one this is a good one if you have a mobile phone or maybe a tablet device so if you have a mobile phone a smartphone or a tablet device a mobile or mobile device this one is especially for you mm. he tried to take a something at me he tried to take a something at me he tried to take a something at me what did he try to do he tried to take a something at me we are looking for five letters five letters belarusia is going see you later belarusia see you later enjoy the rest of your day hopefully see you on sunday he tried to take a something at me hmm interesting so if you have a mobile device maybe an iphone or an android phone or an or a samsung phone sometimes you will do this bless you mr steve mr steve just sneezed he's got his office next to me you see today because we have builders doing some repair work so mr steve is next to me in the in the dining room working away busily very busy today mr steve <sighs> he tried to take a something at me but what was it what did he try to take yes we are talking about an action so this is a type of action physical action hmm now a lot of people are saying selfie the only problem is selfie has six letters selfie has six letters we are looking for five letters he tried to take a something at me what 
to Ann you in says bye mr. Duncan tomorrow my daughter will enter the high school and will begin grade 10 thank you very much Tuan Yuin thank you for joining me today and good luck with your daughter's introduction to grade 10 in her school mm -hmm. a few more seconds and then I will give you the answer coming up right now very nice <laughs> thank you mr. Cockerell very kind of you to say time is up is it click hmm he tried to take a click at me perhaps it is something that is violent ah you see maybe a violent action an action that might be seen as violent ah mm -hmm. so there is a big clue five letters he tried to take a something at me maybe if you are using your mobile phone your smartphone device and you are looking for a hot date you will often do this on your phone photo interesting a lot of people have said photo or selfie very interesting Ahmed is here hello Ahmed nice to see you you are late but as I always say it is better to be late than never hmm. by the way if you are wondering we do have live captions I have managed to get the live captions back on the live stream yes you might notice if you click C on your keyboard you will have live captions mm. I tried very hard to get them back he tried to take a something at me you are very busy today the answer I'm looking for is and we are talking about physical actions in this case something you do with your hand or your fist or maybe your finger ah the missing word is bing swipe ah you see swipe you use your finger mm. Mm to swipe you swipe the screen when you are moving through the pages of a website you swipe also the word swipe can be used to describe hitting someone you swing at someone maybe with your fist or your hand you swipe at them so you move your hand towards someone to hit to hit them or you punch them you take a swipe at someone ah you see you attack them you attack that person you attack them he tried to take a swipe at me he tried to take a swipe so if you hit someone you move your hand or your fist towards someone you swipe them swipe and of course when you are looking on your smartphone you swipe as well we are looking at computer words and computer terms on today's sentence game here is another one coming up right now we are running out of time another sentence game coming up now oh Ooh. we have two missing words here two missing words mm. but what could they be we are looking for six and five letters 
they need to something everyone that wants to something the room mm -hmm. don't forget we are looking for computer terms there you see the sentence game today is all about computer terms Connell says the word swipe a very useful word you are right I think so useful I think so swipe you swipe swipe Marcia today I could not be with you from the beginning don't worry Marcia there is good news because you can watch this again later they will need to something everyone that wants to something the room they will need to something everyone that wants to something the room but what is it what is the answer we have two missing words six letters and five letters Hmm. any ideas anyone oh okay Richard says clean clean hmm well you could say clean the only problem is it has five letters we are looking for six letters and five letters oh okay a lot of people are getting the second correct the second word correct well done well done a lot of people are now getting <laughs> the second word correct well done super duper very good very nice palmira says i am swiping thousands of times a day on my tablet device i think so i think so we all do it when we are looking at our computer device maybe our mobile phone or cell phone smartphone maybe you have a tablet a lot of people will swipe swipe hello ricardo lolly lolly is clever and fast anna says i said check but it has six letters yes well check check might be a good one but i don't know what it has to do with computers is it a computer word check i'm not sure i don't I've never heard the word check being used with computers. Hmm. Some very interesting and intriguing answers coming through now. Very nice. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Invite. Invite. Yes, that's a good answer. Invite. And of course, when you use your computer, you might invite someone to join you on your live chat. You might invite someone to visit your website. So you could use that word, I suppose. You could use that word. It's not the word we are looking for. We are looking for something else. Think of think of the situation we are in at the moment around the world where we have to make sure people are what's the word clean and free of certain viruses ah you see mm. they will need to something everyone that wants to something the room so the first missing word might be something you use something you use they will need to something everyone that wants to the room mm. a few more seconds
Five seconds, and then we will have the answer. Tsuzika says study、uh, or verify.、Hmm. Study. That's that's actually quite a good word. That's a good choice. Very good. Okay, Mr. Cockerell, we are running out of time. <laughs> Thank you. The answer to this sentence game coming up right now: They will need to something everyone that wants to something the room. The missing words are, bing, ah, okay, very naughty. Ah, screen. They will need to screen everyone that wants to enter the room. Screen. So the thing that you actually look at. There it is. Look, the screen is something you look at on your computer. But also we can use the word screen as a verb to check something and healthy screen. They will need to screen everyone that wants to enter the room. Of course, the word enter is often used when you are pressing on your keyboard. You want to enter something. Beatrice says, "Oh, I got it at first. Very good. Well done, Beatrice. They will need to screen everyone that wants to enter the room. Screen, the thing you look at on your computer, and also as a verb, you check, you analyze, you make sure something, maybe a person, is." Healthy and fit. Screen. Yes, I think it was a simple one. Maybe for some people, maybe simple. For others, perhaps a little more tricky. I think we will have two more, and then we will go. Here's another one. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> Now this one is easy. I think this one is very easy, very, very easy. I think so. Hmm. The something is on the other foot now. The something is on the other foot now. This is a well-known expression, by the way, in English. But also the word can be used in computer terms as well. We have four four letters, and just one missing word. The something is on the other foot now. Pretty says mouse. Mouse. Well, of course, yes, you can use a mouse. You can use a mouse. There is my mouse. Mouse. Luis Mendez says shoe. You are very close, very near, very close. The something is on the other foot now. It also has something to do with computers as well. Oh, <laughs> oh, well done. Yes, well done. We have. We have three correct answers. Three correct answers right now. Well done. Pretty good. You see, they are connected to computers. But also, this is a well-known phrase as well. The something is on the other foot now. We use it as an expression. An expression. Hmm. Interesting. Parisa says ring, ring.、Hmm. Congratulations to those who have got it right. Nessar, ah, Nessar. Guess what? 
You were first. Nessa. Very nice. Andy Starr says hoof. Hoof. I'm not sure where you would use the word hoof with computers. Oh, we have Sergio. Sergio is here, everyone. Welcome to Sergio. He has decided to join us. Very nice. <laughs> By the way, your answer is a little bit rude. Terrible. Congratulations. Quite a few people got it right. The something is on the other foot now. Here comes the answer. <laughs> the something is on the other foot. It is a, an expression that we use in English, you see. When a situation has been reversed, maybe someone who was trying to do something bad to you maybe the situation has reversed so now you are in the position where you can do something bad to them the situation has been reversed maybe good a good thing and a bad thing have been reversed normally between two people mm. the answer is bing boot oh of course boot when you start your computer when you press your little button on your computer to start it you boot your computer you boot your computer it means you start your computer and then the hard drive will start going round and round and then your operating system will open slowly or quickly depending on what type of computer you have the boot is on the other foot now so this is an expression but also the word boot can be used in computer language as well as your boot <laughs> is now on the other foot the expression means the thing has been reversed the boot is now on the other foot mm. So you tried to do something bad to me, but it didn't work. In fact, now I can do something bad to you. The boot is on the other foot now. Mm -hmm. Things have changed. So you boot your computer, you boot up. Or maybe you reboot your computer. You start again from scratch. You you reopen your computer. You restart your computer. You reboot your computer. Reboot. Yes, you boot your computer. You start it up. You load the operating system into your computer as it starts up. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I think we have time for I think we have time for maybe one more. Yes, one more and then I will go. Don't forget I'm back on Sunday, back with you on Sunday from 2 p.m. UK time. Don't forget that. 2 p.m. UK time is when I'm with you next. And this will be the last live stream on Sunday it will be the last one because during September we are taking a break from live streams but there will be some recorded lessons new lessons during September wow here we go then this is the final sentence game for today ah okay then we have three missing words Three missing words. After they something this branch, they want to something me to another something. Oh, I think this is so hard. 
I'm sorry about this. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. This is such a hard one. After they something this branch, they want to something me to another something. Hmm. Think about the use of the sentence. After they something this branch, they want to something me to another something. Helen says, I always feel exact anxiety. I feel ex anxiety when you say goodbye. Don't worry, Helen. I'm not saying goodbye forever. On Sunday, it will be the last live stream. September recorded lessons, but new new lessons. And then in October, the live lessons will return. So I will be live with you in October. Don't worry. I'm not finishing my live streams forever, just temporarily during September. So don't worry. Please don't worry. After they something this branch, they want to something me to another something. Hmm. I think this one is very hard. You see, I think this one is quite difficult, quite difficult. By the way, the view outside is lovely. Would you like to have a look? The rain has now stopped and now. <laughs> oh, you can see my Easter Island heads. There they are <laughs> in the garden. <laughs> it's a windy day. The rain has stopped and everything is looking nice. So we are playing the final round of the sentence game. After they something this branch, they want to something me to another something. But what is it? What could it be? I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. The answer's coming in a moment. Palmira says we all need essential knowledge about IT. Yes, a lot of people during 2020 have had to learn how to use computers or how to how to use certain types of software. So it is true that many people during this year have had to try and they've had to learn how to use certain computer programs. So, yes, you are right. Tan 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 says it is a very hard one. Anna Kobe. Oh, well done, Anna Kobe. Yes, you have. You have one of the words correct. Well done. Very good. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Sergio says you have a little bit of Fiji in your garden. Very interesting. We have open and arrange open and arrange. You are very near, very near with your your guests, very close. Hmm. Yes, a lot of people are getting the third word or no, the second word. A lot of people are getting the second word correct, which is good. I'm going to give you the answer in a few seconds, which gives me enough time to say I will be back with you on Sunday. 2 p.m. UK time. Mr. Steve will be here as well. Also, we have a long weekend because Monday next Monday is a public holiday. So many people will not be working next Monday, including Steve. So we are looking forward to having a nice rest on Monday. It is a public holiday here in the UK. 
very nice the answer coming up right now before I say goodbye <laughs> okay you can have a rest now mr. Cockrell is going to have a lie down in his coop <laughs> ah, okay then Nessar interesting Nessar you are very close with your answers very close also Sandra as well Sandra is close here are the answers I, I'm sure that some of you will say mr. Duncan yeah, that, that was too hard the answers are coming up right now Bing. oh mr. Duncan you you naughty man you are so naughty close transfer store so these are all things that you can do on your computer you can close your computer you can close a web page or you can close a program on your computer you can also move things around from one folder to another you can transfer data in your computer you can transfer as well move from one place to another and of course if you want to keep something in your computer you will store that thing in the computer so these are all words that can be used with computers you close your computer you transfer a file you store data of course you can also use these words in other ways after they close this branch they want to transfer me to another store oh mr. Duncan that's not fair that's not fair that was too hard <laughs> Connell says it was easy Connell says it was very easy Luis Mendez says I I knew all these words after they close this branch they want to transfer me to another store close transfer store they are all words that can be used with computers mm -hmm. very nice that is it oh my goodness I can't believe it we have reached the end of another English addict it's almost time to say goodbye there is some good news because the builders has have, have said that they are going to, to finish today so apparently the builders that have been making a lot of noise and uh, and causing a lot of chaos this week they will be finishing today which is good so on Sunday we will be back everything will be nice and quiet on Sunday I'm really looking forward to that please mr. Duncan what is a polyglot asks easy to learn a polyglot is a person who can speak more than one language they normally have the ability to speak and understand more than one language maybe many languages maybe three languages maybe five they can understand and also speak fluently or relatively fluently in many languages it's time to say goodbye parting is such sweet sorrow but don't worry I will be back with you on Sunday I will be with you on Sunday from 2 p.m. UK time and Sunday will be the final live stream for a, a short time okay because during September no live streams but there will be some new recorded lessons and I suppose I should also mention that next Tuesday on the 1st of September I will be publishing a new version of my autumn lesson because autumn is about to begin here in England 
and I thought it would be a good opportunity to post my updated and also remastered high definition autumn lesson so that is coming your way next Tuesday on the 1st of September I will be posting that next Tuesday a nice lesson all about a beautiful season so that is coming up next Tuesday of course I will be with you on Sunday as I just mentioned Mr Steve will be here as well yes Steve will be with us on Sunday and for those who are worried don't worry the live streams will begin again in October you see so there is lots of things to look forward to during September and the live streams will be back in October so the final live stream will be on Sunday before we take a break this is Mr Duncan saying thanks for watching me today I hope you've enjoyed this short in fact it's almost two hours I've just realized I've only just realized that I've been here for nearly two hours I can't believe it have I really been here this long wow I'm, I'm quite shocked to be honest <laughs> I'm flabbergasted <laughs> my guest has never been so flabbered see you next week see you on Sunday lolly lolly bye Lewis bye Lil bye Sandra bye to you all thank you Malia for all of your lovely flowers <sighs> they smell beautiful they really do Berlin also thank you Thomas also Barong Mika see you later Mika catch you on Sunday I hope see you later alligator this is Mr Duncan in the birthplace of English saying thanks for watching see you on Sunday from 2 p.m UK time Mr Steve will be here as well and of course you know what's coming next see you on Sunday as we say goodbye to August <laughs> and of course Mm. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>